69.9 for Mr. Gorimbo. Originally from Zimbabwe, says he wants to win this for his home country, Zimbabwe. His teammates, Demart Penn in the background, cheering him on. After a long injury layoff, he is back in the EFC hexagon and determined to make it 5-0. No love lost between Kurumbo and Alexander Chibbo. Nearly exactly a year since he last competed is Timba Kurumbo. But a man that's ready for the task at hand, and as we've said, big step up in competition for Temba Garimbo. And now for the AG Mobile tail of the tape. Nine years older is Chibub than his opponent, but it is Karimbo who has a massive nine centimeter reach advantage. The AG Chrome Ultra Smartphone with Android 4.25 inch screen and GPS. Ultra features at a small price. Shane the Duke Wellington is standing by with the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live! Proudly brought to you by Keith Ho Bet Exchange, the ultimate sports betting bookmaker. This is EFC 37. And now, our first main card bout is three rounds in the EFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with 12 wins and eight losses. He stands 1.71 meters tall, weighing in at 70 kilograms. Fighting out of Savoy, Johannesburg, Alexander, the Professor Shibub. And now introducing his opponent, He's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of four wins and no losses. He stands 1.83 meters tall, weighing in at 69 kilograms. Fighting out of Sunning Hill, Johannesburg, Timba, the answer, Gorimbo. And when he actually begins, our referee in charge is Vickis Swartz. The lovely Hexagon Girls, probably brought to you by Rex, Diff, and Gearbox, driven by perfection. Naomi and Michelle here at Carnival City. Alex, you ready? Timba, you ready? Let's fight, guys. Start this bout presented by Pitbull, the world's only FDA-approved energy drink. Jabub in the yellow, Garimba in the black. And it's a massive advantage in terms of reach for Garimba. And he's got those long legs. He's looking to strike from distance here. Alex Shabob has competed as a middleweight as well as a welterweight, so you'll certainly be used to fighting guys that are a lot taller than him, a lot bigger than him. shabob has got that unorthodox fighting style, so quite difficult to prepare for, and we know a submission specialist of note. Very hard to mimic that sort of style in the gym. Body kick thrown by both, and, and almost immediately Shabub looks for the takedown. Karimbo. Karimbo to his neck. He might have him in his guillotine, though. That did not work out well for Shabub. He's going to try and pop his head out. Should be able to pop it out from there, but Karimbo squeezing. He's got long limbs, does Karimbo. Now Shabub is out. Shabub has 20 fights almost, under his belt, though. Almost immediately sets up for the arm bar. It's Timba Karimbo. Let's it go. He's still got a hold of, of Shabub's wrist. Shabub tries with an elbow over the top. Unsuccessful, though. Very active guard from Timba Garimbo. Now moves himself to the back of the fence. Try and use it to get back to his feet, most likely. But Shabub tries to grab a hold of that single. And Timba Garimbo easily gets back to his feet. Now goes straight back for the guillotine. Chinese. That is in tight. Shabub is defending for all his worth. Garimbo so determined to get the win here. Cranking his Timba Grimbo's. Got to be careful not to blow his arms out. Just have to finish things here. Vickers Swart having a close look. Down they Drags go. it down to the fence. And there it is! is. He's Timba Grimbo makes it five straight victories with a clinical submission of Alex Chipov straight away into the crowd to his teammates.
Temba Garimbo yet to see the second round in his EFC career. Sniff bloody, had a hold of Shabob's neck, stuck it out for a second too long with the takedown, and Garimbo just wouldn't let up and wouldn't let go. Team captain Norman Vessels drags him back into the hexagon. Temba Garimbo though, some massive improvements in his game, and he's certainly now someone has put up his hand in what is a very competitive lightweight division. Garimbo so determined and so aggressive from the onset. He was never gonna let go of Shabob's neck. He had that and he had that cranked up and Shabob is as good as anyone when it comes to submission defense but when it's in that deep there's just nowhere to go he tried to hold on for all he was worth and Garimbo just cranking 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 no way for Shabob to go but to submit that's all over for Alex Shabob and Karumba straight away over the top of the hexagon to find DeMart Penner and celebrate his fifth win. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Vickers Swart has called a stop to this contest. One minute and 50 seconds into round number one. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine, Timba, the answer, Gorimbo. I'm here with you and a very happy Timba, Gorimbo. Timba, a big step up in competition for you with Alex Shabob, but even he couldn't make it out of the first round with you. Uh, I, I, I prepared for this fight, man. I worked so hard with my coach, Richie, you know, man, and uh, Coach Neil. So I was ready for everything, man. I, I, I trained with the best, so I'm always ready. Well, it, it seemed like at second you got a hold of his neck. You just weren't going to let go of it. Yeah, I, I, felt, I, I felt it was so tight. And he went, and I'm like, yeah, I got you, I got you. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me throughout this journey. I had a shoulder injury, and I'm here back doing what I love to do winning and I'm coming for the belt. For the winner of the title fight tonight, Don and Leon. Guys, I mean it. I want to fight for that title. There's so, there's so many lightweights in this division. Can only be two guys fighting for the belt. I need it. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, very impressive performance. Timber Gurimbo. So Gurimbo continues his rise in the lightweight division. Yet to taste defeat in his pro career has now four straight wins at EFC.